Hey everybody, welcome to Off the Bench with your host, me, Mark Wiggins, and Off the Bench. Glad you're here today. I want to talk about something that's really, really important to me. I want to talk about this concept of to-do lists. To-do list. Everybody has them. Everybody talks about them. There's all kind of apps that you can use to get to make your to-do list. What I've found, though, is that to-do lists become mundane. You do a to-do list. To do what? To do stuff. To get stuff done. There's like no real bonus for getting stuff done. So the beginning of the year, I was working on to-do lists and I was working on it and I got to do these things. And when I get overwhelmed, if I got a lot of things moving at a lot of different times, I feel like I'm not making progress. I'll make a to-do list. I'll write down what I have to do and I'll plow, plow through it and chop it off, chop it off, chop it off. And I feel like, okay, I feel accomplished today. Well, all of a sudden, at the beginning of 2019, in doing my to-do lists, I did not feel like I was accomplishing much. Now, it's a feeling because the reality of it is you are getting things done. You see the list and you see it get smaller. All the tricks. Toughest task first. Ugliest frog first. Do the, you know, bits and pieces. Be specific. Get it down. Get all details. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Well, funny thing happened. I, I woke up in the middle of the night and I was like, I'm not going to do to-do lists anymore. I'm going to do achievement lists. Achievement lists. And it hit me. I said, I talk about success is like a series of small wins on a way to a goal. It's not one major event. It's not like I got it all done. Boom. You may not get it all done. So does that mean you weren't successful? So I ran a little tester to see how this thing would work. So I started writing a little list. Then it became simple stuff like getting the trash out, uh, making sure I didn't figure my clothes are cleaners, get to work, open my, you know, simple things. And you start checking those things off. And I look at the top and it didn't say to do anymore. It said achievement. I was actually achieving. Every strike through was an achieved task. Not a to-do thing done. See what I'm saying? It, it, it sounds different in its wordplay, but you say that you achieve something, you get all tingly all up and through here. Just get all tingly. I to-do today. See what I'm saying? Not the same feeling. But when you achieve something, it breeds more success. I'm achieving. So I begin to become excited about my achievement list not my to-do list. So I started a campaign or somewhat a small, small march or maybe a quick walk called Death to the To-Do List. I want to see people stop calling it to-do list and start calling it an achievement list. Or you can call it a success list. Anything but to-do. Like it's a requirement. There's some things I just got to do. Well, yeah, when you achieve those things and you finish to doing those things, you are successful. We won't call it success. We won't actually give ourselves credit for being or have done something that was achieving something. It's just something off a list. And I think over time, the wording kind of wears you down. We talk about NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. You know, what you say and how it makes you feel. When you say words like, I may be able to get something done, or... I will get something done. See, there's a feeling change right there. When you say, I will get it done, you're like, oh, that's, yes, let's do this. I might get it done. There's room for stuff to happen. When you phrase it in such a way that is a positive, even if it's, you know, you don't get it all done today, I said, well, I didn't get my whole list done. And that's a question I have to ask. When you have a to-do list, how do you know you achieved your to-do list? Are you successful only if you've gotten everything off your to-do list? And I think that's what we kind of do as part of this I'm completely done thing, that we only have success in a feeling when the list is completely done. Well, if your list gets a third done or life jumps in the way, you get the call from school, got to pick up the kid, or something more important jumps off on the phone and a new client calls in or a new product needs to be developed, then your to-do list gets longer and it doesn't get to done. So therefore, by definition, you are not successful because you didn't finish the list. We talk about finishing the to-do list. However, in the achieve 
achievement list concept and mind construct, if I don't finish the whole achievement list, guess what? Even doing one thing on the list, I've achieved something. Therefore, I'm successful with one thing being done. Kind of funny, though, you're also successful on the to-do list when you get one thing done. But because of the way it's constructed, because of the way we think about it, we don't give ourselves that full credit of success. Therefore, becomes drudgery. The list becomes drudge work, grunt work, uh, the to-do list. Oh, the dreaded to-do list. Oh, I've got my dreaded to-do list. You know what I'm saying? I don't have a dreaded achievement list. That doesn't even sound right. Oh, my dreaded achievement list. I can't believe. Oh, my God, I've been achieving all day. No. The achievement list changes how you feel about tasks. It changes the way you feel about momentum. Because, again, if success breeds success, and you're achieving this list, you're going to be achieving all day long. And because you start achieving, you start feeling better about other things you have to do. So when other things jump on board, like, you know what, I'm, a I'm successful today. You didn't get all this done. No, 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 no. Look at my achievement list. Look at the list, though. Look at that. Yo, I got it done. I got these five things out of 100 done. I'm achieving. I'm making progress. Part of success is measuring your progress. Again, Small wins, tiny leaps, as my friend Greg Kunis likes to say, t small, tiny leaps, big changes. Small wins over time become a series of wins, which become more success. See, see, see where I'm going with this? So I'm just encouraging everybody right now to try it. Just try it. Scratch to do and either put achievement or success on the top of your list and start your day. I, I want you to tell me how you, how you feel about it. Tell me if you had anything to do. If you follow me on Instagram at OTB Live on Instagram, hit me on the inbox. Follow the show there. We're on there um, I'm on Instagram, posting there, whatever. Hit me on the inbox and let me know if it worked for you. Did you feel funny about it? If you follow me on Facebook, SpeakerMan87, hit me up and just say, yo, SpeakerMan, Mark Wiggins, I tried the achievement list and I feel a little funny, but I feel like I'm achieving more. I just think it's a big, I think it's a big deal. I'm going to challenge you to change your mindset. You cannot get off the bench and get into the starting lineup of life with the same mindset that has you on the bench. If you're not preparing, if you're not training, if you're not studying, if you're not doing the things to be ready when the buzzer sounds and they call your name to come into the game, you're not ready. You wasted your time. So why not do all those things and wait for your moment and then get in the game and stay in the game? Change your to-do list to achievement list. Death to the to-do list. Everybody say it with me. Death to the to-do list. Let's get rid of it. Try it. I want to hear your success stories. Make sure you also, when you go to my uh, Instagram page, OTB Live, click on the link, and I'm going to give you a free chapter of my book, Success Does Not Need a Cosigner. The chapter is called Kryptonite. Right. Kryptonite. Like your to-do list is probably your kryptonite because you just feel like I don't get anything done or anything. Anyway, I've already talked about it. But go there, get a free copy of my chapter of my book, Success Does Not Need a Cosigner. You can get that there. I appreciate it. Make sure you like, share us, um, make comments. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, TuneIn, SoundCloud. Go to, uh, my, go ahead. just find me everywhere. Just find us wherever you find and listen to your podcast. Look up Off the Bench with Mark Wiggins. I greatly appreciate it. And remember, if you can reach your dreams with a stepladder, they're probably too low. I'm out. <laughs>